Hello, my name is Kastutis and today we will be looking at how to fix WordPress widescreen of that. So let's get right to it. Some of the most common reasons for the widescreen of death are incompatible plugins. Outdated or poorly coded plugins can cause your WordPress to show the widescreen of death. Sometimes it is also caused by faulty themes. Furthermore, the error can appear if your WordPress core files get corrupted. And lastly, exceeding PHP limits. That is when the website scripts go over the memory limits of your hosting's PHP configuration. These situations can lead to your whole site or some specific pages to show a blank screen. Fixing this issue begins with determining the root cause. The most common methods of doing so are First, retrace your steps. Look back at the recent changes that you have made before the error appeared. Maybe install an update for a plugin or change your theme. This could have caused a widescreen of death. Next, check the admin email. Sometimes error notifications from WordPress get sent to your admin email address. Check that out as it can include further clues on what caused the error. Finally, the inspect element feature of your browser can help debug your website. It is also a great idea to clear your browser's cache to make sure you're dealing with the most up-to-date version of your website. Before applying any of the fixes, it's generally a good idea to make a backup of your website. That way, if anything goes wrong, we will simply be able to revert it back to how it was. Enabling the WordPress debugging function will oftentimes lead you to the culprit of the widescreen of death. To do that, we must first navigate your WordPress configuration file. You can do this via an FTP client or a file manager. Hostinger's HPanel has an amazing file manager built in, so I will be using that. The configuration file resides in your public underscore HTML directory and is named wp-config.php. Here, you'll need to find the defined wp underscore debug line and make sure it's set to true. If no such line is present in your WordPress config file, you can add it before the that's all stop editing line. Save the changes and refresh your website. It now should show the error logs instead of a blank page. If no error messages appear, you would also need to enable your PHP error logging. In hosting your, this can easily be done from the PHP configuration tab in your H panel. Once here, simply navigate to the PHP options section and make sure that display errors and log errors checkboxes are filled. Let's save the new configuration. If any PHP errors are present, the error log file will be created in your public underscore HTML directory. These error logs will give you clues into what's wrong with your website. Feel free to use the timestamps in the description to skip ahead in this video to find the solution for your exact situation. If you are unsure, just continue following this guide step by step. Don't forget to disable error display after you're done troubleshooting your website, as leaving it enabled can be a security risk. Quite commonly, the WordPress widescreen of death is caused by a faulty plugin. Alternatively, a few plugins could be incompatible with one another. You can recognize when that is the case if the error log message points you to your plugins directory and a specific plugin that is located there. Now, to fix the widescreen of that issue, you would need to disable the faulty plugins. This can be done in a few ways. If you are still able to access your WordPress admin area, open the plugin section and click deactivate next to the troublesome plugin. Another option is to disable them from the WordPress dashboard in your H panel. The Plugins tab allows you to deactivate any one of the plugins you have installed with just a push of a button. Lastly, you can disable your plugins using the File Manager or an FTP client. First, navigate your plugins directory, which is under public underscore HTML wp-content plugins. Now, renaming the plugin directory to anything else, for example, adding the word disabled next to the original file name, will cause WordPress to not load it. You can also disable all of your plugins at once by renaming the plugins directory itself. If disabling your plugins temporarily solved the issue, a permanent solution would be to find an alternative plugin to use. On the topic of plugins, it's a good idea to not use more than one caching plugin. And if you're using one, clearing your WordPress cache can also help. 
a wrong line of code or a missing core file can corrupt the website. To fix it, let's start by downloading fresh WordPress installation files from WordPress.org. Once the download is complete, let's extract the archive. After that's done, let's open the create a directory and remove the wp-contact folder from it. This folder will not be needed as we will not actually be replacing your website's content. Now let's navigate to our website's files. Same as before, I will be using the file manager for this. Navigating to your WordPress installation only takes a couple of clicks. Once we're here, let's drag and drop the WordPress files we have downloaded previously. When prompted, let's choose the replace option. While we're here, let's also revert our HT access file to its original configuration. We can do so by renaming our old HT access file to something like HT access old. Next, create the text file called htaccess and paste the default lines of code which you will be able to find in the description. Another reason for WordPress showing the widescreen of that is insufficient memory. WordPress will set the memory limit to 32 megabytes by default. However, it is possible to increase it if your website contains plenty of media content and runs large scripts. The error messages that you will see when WordPress runs out of memory are Fatal error, allowed memory size of X bytes, exhausted or fatal error, out of memory. Before increasing the memory limit via your WordPress configuration, it's a good idea to check the overall PHP memory limit of your hosting plan. In hosting error, this can be done via the PHP info tab in the H panel. Make sure that the memory limit value we will be increasing WordPress memory to doesn't exceed the local PHP memory limit. To change the WordPress memory limit, we once again navigate to our wp-config.php file. Find the that's all stop editing line and before it type the defined wp underscore memory underscore limit 64m. You will also be able to find this line of code in the description below. It will increase the memory limit to 64 megabytes, but you can adjust this value accordingly. While increasing the memory limit allows you more room for content and media, it does come with the potential drawback of slower site speeds if you implement a lot of data heavy elements. Best practice here is to balance out memory throughput and performance. Sometimes an incompatible theme causes your website to display a wide screen. A good way to check if that is the case is switching to a default WordPress theme such as 2022. This can be done in a couple of ways. The first one is simply from your WordPress admin dashboard by navigating to the appearance tab's theme section and clicking activate next to the theme. The second option is by editing your database using a tool like phpMyAdmin. Doing this in Hostinger is really easy. All you need to do is navigate to your WordPress dashboard in the H panel and click on your database's name on the right hand side of the screen. Once here, let's open the options table. For me, it's wp underscore options, but your prefix might differ. Once we're here, let's navigate to the option ID 40 and 41, which is template and style sheet. Changing the option value for these to 2022 will forcibly change your website's theme to the WordPress default one. Refresh your website now and if the issue got fixed, you should either find a new theme to use or reinstall the corrupted one. There are cases where the widescreen of death is caused by misconfigured file permissions. In Hostinger, this is super simple to fix as all you have to do is open up your H panel, click Fix File Ownership and execute the action. This will set the permission configuration to its default values, which is 644 for files and 755 for folders. You can use these values to change your file permissions with the help of an FTP client as well. If all the previous methods didn't help resolve the issue, restoring your website from a backup would be the way to go. Keep in mind that this is a last resort solution, as depending on when your latest working backup was made, you might lose some data. Hostinger offers a really convenient backup system. It's built right into the H panel, in the files section. The restoration process itself is not at all complicated. Select the file restore option, choose your desired date, Select your website's directory and click Restore Files. To restore your database, the process is quite similar. I really hope that this video helped you sort out your WordPress widescreen of death issue. You can let me know if it did by leaving a like. 
Post a comment below if there are any other error solutions you would like me to cover in a future video. And of course, subscribe to Hostinger Academy so you wouldn't miss it once it comes out. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.